This is Red Jacket. We build weapons, all kinds of weapons. That's our job. Your job is to enjoy the show. Don't try this at home. I was injured in 2007. My right arm was paralyzed. We're going to mount one of our shotguns onto an ATV. The question is how? That is scary, dude. I've had a lot of losses in my life. There's a reason he works for me rather than vice versa. Can see the sky come down, the mountains all fall to the ground. But I will fear none of these things. Oh, shelter me, Lord, underneath your way. Red Jacket is a one of a kind custom weapon shop. We do repairs, custom orders, all the while keeping a production line rolling. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Let me see your hands, let me see your hands. We specialize in law enforcement applications. Right now, business is booming. We just got shipping notification of 100 uh, rifles. Don't make any weekend plans for a while. Only problem is, our little crew is not able to handle all this. Right now, workloads way past workforce. Let's just get them all uh, pulled up and kind of move these and get a whole nother line moving. Okay, we're going to file separate. How about Your guy Mark's here. That uh, big shotgun, so he always buys one shotguns yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. All right. I don't know, but you need to come another talk one? to him. Yeah. All right, all right, let's remember that, okay? Don't start on this one until we get the rest of them. Pulled. Yes, sir. Mark's been a great customer, but honestly, I don't see how we could put anything more on our plate. Hey, Will, how you doing, buddy? I'm all right. Well, I want to introduce you to one of my buddies. Brandon Pelletier. Good to meet you. Brandon? Uh, yes, sir. Brandon doing, Pelletier. Man? Man, he's Marine Corps and working with the Combat Marine Outdoors in conjunction with them. Mark's a great guy. He's been a good customer for years, but up till today, I had no idea he was involved with the Wounded Warrior Foundation. The Wounded Warrior Foundation provides programs and services for severely wounded service members between the end of their active duty and the transition into civilian life. Brandon, so how'd you get hit? I was injured in 2007. Night combat operations, my right arm was paralyzed below the elbow. It's hard to manipulate a weapon only using one arm and still being safe, just because it really requires two hands on the weapon. I got a project for you. We gotta take Brandon on a hunting trip. You gotta take a shotgun. He wants to ride a four-wheeler. Okay, so you wanna put a gun onto an ATV? We gotta be able to get this gun to operate off the four-wheeler. You left-handed? Uh, it's originally dominant right. You are now, huh? Left-handed, but left -handed. not by choice. Sure, right? Brandon loves honey, but he's got a problem. He's only got one working arm. Well, he's got another problem. Most game animals don't tend to stand around waiting to get shot. So we're going to have to come up with a way to get a gun mounted up in such a manner that he can operate it and shoot it one-handed. I set this up right the way I'm thinking it's gonna work. Hell, you could just sit off of it like that, boom, 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 and let the mount absorb all the recoil. Gotta buy this thing, put it on a bike. What's it gonna cost me? Let me uh, get into it for a few days and see right. what it's turning into. I can firm up on the mount. There. I'll give you a few days. I got a hunt in two weeks. You gotta have it ready for then. Is that, that a problem? Two weeks? Uh, about a week and a half. Week and a half. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Seeing what Mr. Will's going to do to this vehicle to make it easier for me to get out in the woods and get back hunting, something I really enjoy, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. Gentlemen! Come here. Is you familiar with the Wounded Warrior Foundation? Yeah, of course. Well, I met a wounded warrior. He lost use of his right arm in Iraq. He grew up hunting. He wants to get back into it. The question is how? We're going to mount one of our shotguns onto an ATV. We're loaded down. 
Last thing we need is another big project coming through the door. But once a Marine, always a Marine, and Will would never say no. We're going to come up with some kind of articulated swing arm to support the weapon, like so, while he's driving through the woods, and let him, using just his left arm, bring it around and be able to work it. The key to this weapon's success is going to be the shotgun's ability to swing in a full 360 degree circle. The mount's a critical part. Who's doing? You're doing this part. You're going to do this part. All right. With all that. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't figured out that. We're going to get Brandon's project done and still keep up some semblance of production. I need to get a new guy in here yesterday. What kind of tools are you used to using, man? Can you come in for three? Uh, do you have any experience actually doing builds for guns or anything? All right, sounds good. Thank you. Let's just hope somebody walks through the door that can do the job and do it right. Hey, Dad. You got a guy here to see you? Parrish Oliver. OK. Looking for some work. Tell you what, if you look right there, okay. that little door with the sign that says pisser. Yes, sir. Told us been clogging on me for about two days. Okay. See what you can do with that for me. But one of the phrases that I absolutely despise and will not tolerate is, oh, that ain't my job. Watching how well somebody does a menial task tells me just about everything I need to know about them. Kid don't mind doing the scut work? Fine. We'll check him out on the tools. You got the spring in the bottom? Yes. There's the oval spring, then the, then lock, the lock washer, washer okay. then the windage lock. Just right. perish. Oh, no. That's not going to work. All these things start flashing back through my brain. <laughs> There's something out here on the wagon I need to show you, bro. Dogs done it up. What the do? Dogs eat the motor now? I'm bullshitting you, dude. Uh, I know that guy from way back in the day. Yeah? And uh, uh, it's not somebody we need on the team. Ready, Chris? What's up? Yeah, I don't think Will's thought about this solid mount here. Why don't you go ahead and worry about the things I assigned you to worry about? Right now, I'm a little pissed that my word is even questioned. Looking for some work. All right. Parish. Oh, no. That's not going to work. I know that guy from way back in the day. Yeah? Let's just say he runs his mouth. It's not somebody we need on the team. I All right, get back on the tools. All right. I can't have those type of people around my people. And this is a family unit, and we all have to work together. And that's a person that I can't work with. We got a uh, problem on your background check. Okay. All right, this ain't going to be able to work. Uh, Steph. Catch him, uh, what are you here, about 40 minutes? Catch him 25 bucks, cover his uh, time coming in. Okay. All right, listen, thank you, though, all right? Uh -huh. Take care. I wish him the best of luck in all his future endeavors, but they ain't going to be here. What do you got? I found it. Remember this. We had this on the back of the war wagon you know, for a tail gunner spot. The mount has to be easy to use. The customer only has the use of his left arm. It has to be set up so that it can be fully manipulated using only your left arm. Penny, hand that shotgun. Also has to be very strong. A lot of recoil on a 12 gauge. Chris, just tuck two inches under your arm. I'd call it about there. It looks like it'd be comfortable, you know, be able to move it up and down. I don't know how. Easy it is for him to come out and do all of this stuff. You're right. Let me work on this. All right, put this back. Why y'all standing here? What you got to do? Plenty. Go, go, go. A lot of the shotgun work, I'm just going to turn over to Vince. While he's working on that, me and Chris are going to get busy getting the actual mount to go on the ATV ready. Mounting a gun to an ATV might be challenging, but my real concern is the recoil of the shotgun. Hey, Chris. Vince. Yeah, I don't think Will's thought about this solid mount here, man. What do you mean? What you've got is a solid mount here with a gun on it. There's no recoil absorption. It can beat the gun apart, and also, uh, you know, you may have an issue with cycling. That ain't no good. Well, we can simulate the same thing by putting a gun butt up against the wall in the range and firing. Ah. Uh, Let me show you? Yeah. 
Ready, Chris? Sir. If the mount is too rigid, the cycling of the action could cause the bolt to bounce off the back of the gun, causing the gun to malfunction, and then it won't fire at all. Yes. Yeah, like that? Yeah, like that. It did jam. This is a major malfunction. The gun jammed because without any kind of recoil absorption, the action worked too fast with a heavy hunting load, bouncing the bolt off the back of the receiver, and smashing the spent shell straight back into the chamber. We can't have that for this yeah. guy out on the hunt, dude. Will needs to know right now that we might have a serious design flaw with this mount. It will. I was looking at this mount, but, and I went over, th this mount being solid like this? Yes. I went over and I tested one of the Segas against the wall, just with no recoil, and you may have occasional jams because of that. Tell you what, why don't you go ahead and worry about the things I assigned you to worry about. Let me worry about the things that I assigned me to worry about. Thank you for the information. Hope you weren't on my payroll when you were doing that. Let's get that thing the hell out of here. Right now, I'm a little pissed that my word is even questioned. I might not be designing the mount, but I want the mount to be reliable. Vince knows everything that I've taught him to know. That ain't the same as knowing everything that I know. Is that something I take to heart? I've had a lot of losses in my life. I'm not going to be the one that looks like an ass. There's a reason he works for me rather than vice versa. Glenn Flynn. Glenn? That is scary, dude. boys to work until they literally drop. I need to get some help in here. I got to be able to give these boys a break. Hey, Rich. This is Stephanie over here. Red Jacket. How much actual gun experience have you got? Not very much. Hey, Scotty. It's Stephanie from Red Jacket. Why are you bring a book? Oh, just in case I need to rise up and down. Hey, it's Stephanie. Red Jacket. What exactly are you looking to do? Well, I love guns. I'm looking around now, and I just see all these guns. And I love guns. I, like, I shoot them on the weekends. It's pretty much all I do. I got three dogs that fill up that backyard with crap every night, mm -hmm. every morning. That's the first thing that gets cleaned up. So I wouldn't actually get to fire any guns? No. Worst economy in 80 years, and you still can't find good help. Thank you. Flynn, Flynn. Flynn? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's come on in here. All right. Give me the sort version from uh, age 20 on. Well, military, retired, Air Force. Uh, spent several years in a weapons shop. Had a great time. Learned a lot of stuff there. As a matter of fact, I did bring a couple of my uh, builds with me. Just a hint, folks. If you're going to go to an interview as a gun builder, it doesn't hurt to bring a gun that you built. All right. This is the stuff you've built. Yes, sir. MG42. I uh, rewelded it, did all the internal mods to make it a closed bolt semi, as opposed to the open bolt full auto that it used to be. I'm kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none. Glenn brought in an MG42 to show his skill levels. Well, I've built a couple of them. They are not easy. All right, we're live. I've been interviewing people for a gun builder's job for a week and a half now. Mm -hmm. You are the first one that's actually shown up with a gun <laughs> that he built. Thank you. I'm, I'm particularly proud of this. Uh, having said that, just because I'm standing here talking to you friendly, don't mistake me for a friend. I do that. All right, let's get you started. All right. Outstanding. It's completely left handed. Yep. I love that, man. I really do. Yes, we took a Sega shotgun, mounted it onto an ATV to allow the shooter to have a full range of fire. I love the way it feels, the way it looks, but. After trying it against the wall in the range, I'm still not completely convinced that that mount's gonna let it cycle properly. All right. How about this? 
If it cycles, free lunch for Will. If it don't, steak for Vince on Will. All right. You sure you don't want a hot dog? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, let's get outside. Time to get a little hang time. too much fun. Well, we've bounced this gun over hill and dale on this four-wheeler. Now it's time to load up a few hundred rounds, see how it really handles itself. Well, you know what? Let's be righteous about it. Guys, stay clear. I'm going to charge it. And go through the whole thing left-handed. You guys ready? I'm ready to fire it. Go for it. All right, fire in the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How's the recoil? It's actually, you know, like normal 12 gauge recoil. I didn't think the mount would absorb the recoil. Will had anticipated that the suspension of the four-wheeler would, so this gun's gonna work flawlessly. Looks like Vince will be covering my lunch tab. <laughs> of course I'm correct. I'm Will. Y'all have fun with cleanup. <laughs> yeah, I always do. <laughs> well, the shotgun, the mount, everything. It's working great. I couldn't be happier. Now it's ready. Hand it over to Brandon and get that man boar hunting. Sounds like I'm coming in now. What about it, boy? How you doing? Hey. Let's get the four-wheeler off of there, right. Chris. Yeah. And uh, we'll be showing how this thing sets up. a little bit different than what we shoot pigs with. Man, look at that. That's uh, a little bit different than 1100 with. That's not the same <laughs> one you showed me at the shop, man. That's... Oh, no, this is your rock. Same one. Man. But the way it mounts up, see this, uh, gotcha. just flips right in. Well, we got Brandon accustomed to how the mount works. Now we just got to let him uh, take the four-wheeler for a spin, get used to it. It's <laughs> a little chilly. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> I think he likes it. Like it? I don't think we're going to see his ass in five hours. <laughs> he may be going to see big hey, hey, hot dog. Hot dog. Standing up. <laughs> That's something else. The wind blowing in my face. I hadn't had that since I was overseas. The boy takes off 90 miles an hour. I'm looking at him thinking, good God, all that, and now he's gonna kill himself on his way to shoot a poor. All right, Brandon, let's go. Let's go, Brandon. Banker in his hole right here. I'm gonna put it on fire. Yeah. Just keep watching. Get ready. Get on. Get on. We're on fire. Get to the shoulder and get ready. I hear it. It sounds like it's over there. There it is. You see? Hey, <laughs> 
That's what it's all about right there, son. Hey, give me some of that. I know, oh, brother. Brother. I know it took me four shots to get it down, but that's all right. Accuracy by volume, that's my motto. <laughs> <laughs> that four-wheeler worked great, and that mount, I didn't feel any of the recoil. I knew Mr. Will had taken some time and a lot of extra effort to make this personal. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to sell it to you, all right? But what I can do is I can put it on about a, I don't know, a short 150-year loan. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow through with that 150 yeah. years. That's that's a while. Yeah. Like I said, man, yeah. uh, you already paid your bills. All right. Don't worry about this one. This one's red jacket. Appreciate it very much. I for sure thought it was going to be something in the high price range, but it's really great to see that. Woohoo! It was like a child under a Christmas tree. I saw a man walking in the same pairs of boots that he started out this walk in three decades ago. That All right, guys, he just left. disappeared. Ooh, the end of the hunt. Uh, uh, that's it. Buddy. Really, huh? You said oh, you were out. Out. There we go. What are we doing? Oh, 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 oh man. Nice job. Good job, man. That's the way to end the hog, on it? Yep. Yeah, it did. Well, well, I appreciate y'all. We'll simplify, brother. All right, my friend. We're going to do this. Simplify.